Hello all, this is the concluding session on series of API. We have seen overview of API, then we have explored API Gateway. If you have not seen my previous videos, do check out the link mentioned in the description. In this video, we will take a tour on API for mainframes using Zeus Connect Enterprise Edition. Before we explore Zeus Connect Enterprise Edition, let's look at how the data flows from the Zeus system to the front end client. Here is a mainframe storage group where the data stores. This data can be available through database structures like DB2, IMS, etc. The data then can be fetched from this database by applications which can be written in COBOL or JCL. Now based on the endpoint and front-end technologies, the fetched data may be restructured or sent as it is to the external application using web services. The data can then be sent to the client application where it gets processed and sent to the front-end application. Here it shows overall flow in brief using the existing web services. Now suppose you need to extend this to support JSON and RESTful services. Here it comes ZOS Connects Enterprise Edition which enables us to call external RESTful API through traditional ZOS application. Let's first see where the ZOS Connects can be based in this architecture. The ZOS Connects need to be hosted at this place where it serves as an endpoint for the ZOS environment. Now let's look at some features of ZOS Connect. With the advancement in mobile and cloud computing, RESTful API and JSON are popular choices for application developers. On the other hand, the backend mainframe is a legacy system which is known for being a reliable system for critical data processing and storing. The front-end mobile application or a cloud computing needs to access the ZOS system in a best optimized way. So IBM has developed ZOS Connect to provide this service. The ZOS Connect is based on Liberty Server technology which is invoked by the REST API request and it opens the listener port to accept the request from clients. The Liberty Profile is a lightweight, fast and dynamic application server which can be used to control various services during runtime environment. The ZOS Connect also acts as an API provider which serves as a trigger for RESTful API and for mainframe applications such as SQL, CISAs, IMS, etc. ZOS Connect needs to know which of them need to be invoked and here the ZOS Configurator service tells the system which service is to be invoked. This configuration is maintained in the Liberty Profile Configurator. The ZOS Connect also provides System Authorization Facility SAF, which provides security for ZOS and API resources so that only the authorized users can access to the specific services. There is a workload manager WLM which provides different criteria of priority and performance. Also, there is a discovery function in ZOS Connect that enables access to a particular ZOS resources so that correct requests can be allowed. So these are the overall components in ZOS environment. Let's take an example where a request to query the student details is made from a mobile application. But before that, let's have a look at REST API and JSON. REST API is an acronym for Representational State Transfer. It is an interface that uses HTTP requests for exchanging data using verbs like get, put, post, and delete data. Whereas JSON is a JavaScript object notation, which is a lightweight format of data for exchanging data between server and web services. These are the two commonly used mobile application development. Now let's come back to our examples. Here student's application runs on mainframe and will query the student details by calling its RESTful API. Let's say there is a GET request to view the student details for a random student ID say 778899. ZOS Connect acts as a RESTful API requester. Also it provides RESTful interface which has ability to convert data into the desired format while sending and receiving from ZOS environment. This is the copybook layout where the data received in the input layout and then it invokes the corresponding ZOS application which then processes and fetches the desired output from the application or database. ZOS Connect provides mapping capabilities so that the output from the ZOS copybook can be mapped to the corresponding JSON variable. This is the service provided by ZOS Connect for abstraction and conversion of data from API supported variables to the underlying ZOS consumable variables. There are some artifacts required by API requester to facilitate these API calls. 
Firstly, archive files which is deployed by developers for mapping and data transformation during the runtime. Secondly, data structure file which has data structure of request and response. And finally, API information file. It has information about the API. So with the help of API requester, the student name, class and grade is fetched from the ZOS system and then converted to desired JSON format by ZOS Connect based on the provided mapping and sent back to the front-end application. So here we have concluded API for mainframe using ZOS Connect. Thanks for watching.